I watched The Cove again today for probably the third time, I think. Well, recidivist. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot there. I mean, there's a lot to unpack in there. And I, I think what is so shocking to me about that film for a first time documentarian is how well the story is told. Um, I wish I could say that was all me, but it's, I've got a really great team. I mean, that's a, I think that's a, a key. I surround myself with people a lot more talented than I am. You know, I think we had a great story and we had, you know, Mark Monroe, the writer, helped tell it. Fisher Stevens, who has done, at that point, I think that was like his 24th movie. Um, yeah, it, I was fresh out of the box. And we, it was, it's, it made me really look good because we, we had like, I think it's the most award winning documentary in history. You know, when you look at, when you add it all up, all the, the major awards, but it was like, we had a, a crack team. I just got surrounded, got lucky to have a buddy of mine have, you know, the money to do it and then just, you know, help me surround myself by people who are really talented. That was, that was the key to the success of that film. And so... How did you assemble that team? I mean, did, was that sort of a naturally? Did they find you, or? Well, the, I mean, the, the, the people that actually went into the Cove, we were none of us were filmmakers. I mean, we just knew that we wanted to do it. And, and now, having spent ten years, uh, you know, doing this, I think it's you know, it is an unusual group because we're we're first and foremost we're I'd say we're activists. We're you know we're there trying to do a message, which is a little bit different than probably most of your audience. You know, we I don't really. I didn't consider myself a movie maker. I considered myself, a, you know, a using movies as a tool to get to to try to to solve an issue, and um, we're doing that. I mean, I don't the the, the awards were great because uh, to me it, it gives a, pl a higher platform for the for the issue. But it's it's an issue oriented film. Uh, you know, most Hollywood films to me are like a, you know, the producers call them ten dollars in a box of popcorn. <laughs> and you know butts and seats, and I don't look at it as the audience like that. I look at it as minds and seats. So we're we're there to change mind, hearts, and then minds, because hearts come first. You change somebody's heart, then you change the way they behave. So that's what we were trying to do. It wasn't you know to me, it was just a, a, a means to an end. 